Hi everyone, Gig Coach Jake here, your go-to for fact-based gig economy news tips and tricks. And today, I want to discuss this early access qualification update that DoorDash has announced to some of us. I know a lot of you are saying, I haven't received any email notifications, doesn't affect me. You were saying the same thing when the Top Dasher notifications emails came through when they did this early access update back in August. Eventually it hit everyone, just like this will. So for those that have not received the email yet, you're in luck. You have an opportunity to plan ahead before this does hit your market. So make sure you listen close to what I have to say because I have some good tips and tricks that are gonna be helpful for all of you. This was effective immediately when we received this email. On the 14th of February through the 20th, any dashes are gonna go towards this. February 21st, the early access scheduling then, this will apply. Now all these changes came into effect back in mid-August for my market. Now they're making the simple adjustment of adding an acceptance rating requirement. Same thing they did with the Top Dasher. They came out with the Top Dasher, the rewards program, people were excited. There's no acceptance rating. Then, what was it, a month, two months down the road, they added in that 70% acceptance rating. Now, they're still having troubles getting a lot of these garbage offers accepted and delivered. There's only so many people that are chasing Top Dasher. You're asking, well, why would they make this change? They have all these lovely offers. They're not being accepted. For example, the tons of Walmart offers. I see a buttload of them in my market. I'm not sure about you. I can assure you that a bunch of you are saying, oh yeah, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Then there's the stacked offers where the only $2 is the minimum. Yes, on stacked offers, they're only paying $2 instead of the $3 delivery pay. That's why you're seeing an increase in the amount of stacked offers you're seeing in most markets. $2, that's absolutely crazy. Can you imagine how hard it would be to keep an acceptance rating of 60% or above in a market where you're seeing a lot of offers like this. Well, when they incorporate an acceptance rating requirement into something where they know fear strikes into a lot of you, the scheduling, they believe it's gonna work. Then you have all the pace and play offers. Those can be nonsense. $3, can you imagine going to a Starbucks Long line in that drive through or inside, you got to place the order, wait for it 20 minutes for three dollars. Are you kidding me? And then look at this one seven and a half miles for three bucks. Cheesecake Factory. A lot of you know how long it could take at some of these cheesecake factories, especially if they're busy. This was right around 2 30, not a busier time, but three dollars for 15 20 minutes. Nobody can do this long-term accepting offers like that. There's plenty of these offers floating around. We found that if you reject the first few offers that come in, a lot of times it'll look like this, they start to look better. Those that are top dashers, those that are accepting a higher acceptance rating are seeing the effects of the earnings decreasing as their acceptance rating goes up. Now that doesn't mean all markets. If you're in a market where you could accept 60%, 70% above, and it doesn't hurt your earnings, carry on. Keep doing, you're very fortunate. Be happy because the majority of us are not in a situation like that. Now this enforces an employee type relationship where we are classified as independent contractors. Again, a lot of you've learned that if you reject offers, they start to look better. Don't let this crap scare you into accepting more garbage, like the ones behind, that are gonna decrease your earnings overall and your profit margin by a great deal. Trust me on this. Grubhub has been doing this forever. They have a much higher acceptance rating, 85% for pro level, 95% above, I believe, for Premier. That's absurd. So DoorDash has a lot lower requirements but again, monkey see, monkey do. They know that a lot of you are scared. They watch social media. They watch these videos. 
They collected a lot of data. They understand that if they make this requirement into the scheduling, they're going to get a lot more of this garbage accepted and delivered and completed. Instead of paying a fair delivery pay in the first place. So don't be scared. Don't buy into the hype. And do not make poor decisions so you can have early access scheduling. Work smarter, be a true independent contractor. Now I said I'm gonna have some tips and tricks. Every market's different. You're gonna have to start looking for patterns. I know that in some places, midnight, you'll start to see blocks for the following day open up. There was early access scheduling. You can be assured there are gonna be a lot less people that are gonna have access to early scheduling now with this requirement. That's gonna open up more opportunities. The top of the hour, 15 after the hour, 30 after the hour, 45 after the hour. Be looking at that map all the time when you're ready to work. You'll have opportunities to jump on and schedule not only for a short period, but a longer period. When you get a just dash or dash now, when it opens up, you'll see longer periods open up. You have to be more proactive yourself in finding what are the right times or patterns in your market to where you can get the available spots you want open. And if this is really messing with your head, it's stressing you out, you might have to go back to a traditional job. Gig work's tough. They're always gonna make changes. They're gonna make it hard on you as an independent tra- contractor to make smarter choices to increase your profit margin as a business owner in business. Now, until there's some type of regulations that force these companies to work and be ethical, we're gonna have to continue to get around all this garbage and make smarter choices and not fall into the traps that have set. Uber has written the playbook and these companies are just following suit. They know that a majority of our emotions are fear. They're tapping into your fear to get you to accept more crap instead of paying you what you deserve as an independent contractor. I hope this information helps a lot of you especially those that are really concerned stressed about it right now. As I've always said, you need to diversify. Open up other apps. Sign up for more apps. Maybe you need to start doing some shopping. Grubhub. A little bit of Postmates. I don't know. You're going to have to experiment. You're going to have to adapt with the changes if you want to make this work full-time, long-term. Anyhow, that's all I have for today. Have a great day, evening. Be safe out there. Work hard, but work smarter. And hashtag low pay, no way.